after the government rested its case after lunch today. One of the co-defendants, Dr. Anna Gabrielian, took the stand. She started to testify in her own defense. She told the jury she was scared. She said she thought she was dealing with the KGB, and so she knew that one wrong move could be disastrous for her own health and safety and for her professional future. Mr. Mead, Dr. Gabrielian, Mr. Mead, it's always a risk to have your defendant testify in their own no defense. Comment. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No comment. I okay. appreciate it. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. On Thursday, co-defendant Anna Gabrielian was called to the stand and began to testify in her own defense. During direct examination, she was asked about sharing her patient's medical records. Dr. Gabriellian said she knew she was breaking the law when she was doing it. And to the patients who were impacted, she said, I would apologize to them for dragging them into this. And there is nothing I can really say to express my regret. This is trial day three for the married Maryland doctors who were arrested last fall after an undercover operation and who are accused of trying to be Russian spies. The government says the Hopkins anesthesiologist and her army doctor husband, Jamie Lee Henry, conspired to help Russia in the early days of the war in Ukraine by sharing private and exploitable health information about their patients. Prosecutors put the FBI case agent on the stand today who told the jury that the doctors, all on their own, offered up and then produced those files last August. Today, the defense also worked to show the jury that the sting was a setup, calling it unethical and unfair, claiming that prosecutors huddled with investigators, handpicked a federal law, and then hatched a plan to get the defendants to break it. In her testimony today, Dr. Gabriellian tried to hit several themes over and over. One of them was wanting to save Russian soldiers' lives doesn't mean you actually support the Russian invasion of Ukraine. She said the Russians are not enemies to be killed off. She said their crime is being born Russian 18 years ago and being fed misinformation by their government. Her direct examination continues here tomorrow morning. Reporting from Federal Court, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL-TV 11 News.